All right, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to start a database in Notion to study charts and to study your trading. So this will be episode one, and I can do more episodes whenever you guys want me to show you. But anyways, let's get right into it. So let's say we are just making a database to keep track of one certain setup. So if you're in Notion, if you've never been in Notion before, it's free. I uh, put the link in the description and you can make some incredible stuff in here. So go check it out. So first off, we're going to do, let's just say we're going to do setup number one. And what you can do is you can add a little arrow like this. And what that'll do is it'll make it a drop down. Okay. So now we're going to go through and we're going to just add some setups. So what you'll do is you'll open up your trading platform. And today we're going to be looking at Boar. I'm just going to be adding this in. This is a trade I took a couple months ago and we're just going to use it as an example. So what you'll do is I like to make it bold, add in Boar and then add in 2022. All right, then we're going to make this a drop down as well. And so now we're going to hit space. Now we have two blocks underneath here and let's go and grab this. So you're going to want to go back in time and to get a before shot of the setups. So this is what you should have seen the night before, what you should have recognized and been ready for when the morning came around. So I'm just going to put a little line here to kind of show the range. As we can see, it's making higher lows, surfing the 10 day. It bounced to the 20 day, came right back. Pretty clean setup. And so then we're going to grab our screen capture tool. I use Gaiazo. I'll put that in the description as well. Now that you got that screen capture, you're just going to copy it. We're going to go back to Notion, throw it in just like that. And then we're going to go and get what happened afterwards. So this is pretty much the extent of that move. Now we're going to copy this, add this to the Notion. And there you have it. There is a nice what you should have seen before and then what happened after the fact. And you can customize this any way you want, but this is kind of just a really basic way to do this. So then you can go through here and you can just add as many setups as you want, you know, add in all these things. And so that's kind of how you start it. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. But I'll show you quickly what my database looks like right now. All right, so this is my database and I have it on full width. You can do that up here in the top right. Anyways, so this is setup number one, and as you can see, I have all these different breakout setups and the before and afters, and the full width makes it, you know, full screen, so that's kind of why I do that. But you can see the before and afters, super nice, and I'm also kind of in the process of going through and adding some characteristics to each setup. So as you can see, I have the 100 emojis if they went up 100%, and I'm going to mess around with these, and I'll show you guys all that whenever I'm finished at a later date. But yeah, I hope this helped you guys out a little bit, and let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you all in the next video.